to thinify someone. Okay? So here I'm going to give you two ways how to take off 5 to 10 pounds on anybody. One, you can come up here and use this, what would be a pincushion distortion in concert with scale. In other words, if she was that much filling the frame before, um, you can see how that is elongating her. Okay, and let's zoom up here. We don't need that much. Another brook crystal shot. So here is before, after, before, after. Okay, that's considerable. Um, the dress, because all these dressings, um, wedding dresses are hug people in totally unnatural ways. Tomorrow we're going to go into liquefy and fine tune um, how body shaping can take place. We're not going to liquefy in there, but compensating for dresses is something that you do. But that right there is certainly lengthening her and giving us a little bit more elegant look. That's using what would be a pincushion and a scale. Okay? If I didn't use that scale, then it's a make midget option. Okay? Not really beneficial to use the pincushion distortion unless you know that you also have scale at your disposal to get it back to where it was. The other way of doing this, let me go ahead and reset this transformation, is the brand new aspect ratio. This is where you can now do a non-symmetrical distortion of the image and in this case, you can come up here and just lengthen, you know, don't get greedy, okay? Um, but a little bit, you know, of in this case going up to, you know, 25%, 25% is certainly doing a 10 pound change in the person, okay? People have been doing this in Photoshop for a million years. The fact that this is in Lightroom is one more reason why you're not going to be needing to go into Photoshop for every single image, or at least you're going to get much further down the line before you do need to. As an example, tomorrow we're going to go into um, um, liquify. Okay, so that again is using our lens correction. We did it for chromatic aberration. That's something that's absolutely important in terms of um, our detail. So detail is our sharpening. We went through what each of the sliders does, and um, there you go there. And of course, noise reduction. I don't think I need to do other little ones, but in terms of, I'll just um, show you, you know, what that, here's our original, here's the tango, and here is using our uh, options within our lens correction. Okay, in this case, doing a vertical. So here it is before, after, before, after. Having it automatically do multiple adjustments, great, awesome, fantastic will save you time, energy, and money. Questions about detail and distortion? Okay, continuing on. Some global color and tone. I mentioned before, um, and I love this, I've used this image for a million years, it's another Brook shot. Um, if you're sick to death of it, I don't really care, because I haven't found a better example. And there's so many people that have not um, experimented with the HSL panel that uh, I really need to.